what's most preeminent in my mind when I think of Logan, uh, I was fortunate enough to play with him for a number of years and I think for me, just in short, he pushed me to be a better player and diving deeper into that, I think where that, that came out in everything. Logan and I were extremely competitive. He is an extremely competitive guy. I was an extremely competitive guy. And that came from pushing me in a beep test in preseason when nobody else wanted to do the running, uh, a simple passing drill, a game, and then in, in the matches themselves. And I think for me, when I was playing alongside Logan, I knew I could look over and see a guy that would run through a wall for me or another one of his teammates and I would do the same for him. My memory is probably not a highlight for Logan, but uh, for me it was like a life lesson. We were in a rough stretch uh, as a team. We were losing a game at halftime and Logan got pulled out at halftime, which I maybe is probably the only time that's ever happened. Uh, was Logan pissed off? Sure. Uh, did he deserve to be brought off? Probably not, and maybe I'm biased there, but probably didn't deserve to be brought off, but he did. And what happened next is the most amazing thing that I've never seen an athlete do before or since. He put his sort of selfish motives aside completely and went and shook everybody's hand and wished them all the best for the second half. And that, to me, when you talk about, I'm sure people are going to say Logan's a great teammate, but what that really means is literally he took, put aside every bit of selfishness for the good of the team. You know, what did Logan want to do at that time? I'm sure he wanted to get up and scream and throw a hissy fit that we've all seen athletes do. But what did his team need at that time? He need, they needed him as a leader to get up shake everybody's hand and it's exactly what he did and uh, it's actually even emotional to talk about but um, that and that that sums him up.